Hey, this is Chan, and today I'm here with a journal with me video. I just thought I'd, I would share with you some of the things that I got in the mail, because I had a very good snail mail week. <laughs> I've had a bunch of the things that I ordered uh, towards the end of December. If you watched any of my other videos, you might know that, you know, December was pretty rough on us, so I found myself, I, <laughs> I found myself looking at cute stuff online and then just buying things that cheered me up. I know that sounds so bad, but I just, I just needed things to distract me, so I saw these cute things on Etsy and I just I just decided to buy myself a few things to kind of, you know, lighten my mood a little bit, you know? So I thought I would do a journal with me video to share some of the things that I got. And at first I wasn't sure how I was going to go about this. I was thinking maybe I'll, I'll first, because I wanted to divide up the page into sections, right? And I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that with stamping or with washi tape. Uh, but then I decided uh, to use journaling cards and some die cuts that I have from my these are, a lot of these are from my card making stash, so I thought I would, since I'm not doing as much card making these days, I just, I, I'm trying to find ways to use my card making stuff, you know what I mean? So I thought I would use some of these, but I'm going to start off with some washi tape. So let's get some washi tape on the pages now. I'm using this airmail one, this is a watercolor looking airmail washi. I got this from Happy Memory on Etsy. And I'm going to just create a border all the way around these two pages. Okay, so now that the border, the airmail border is done, I want to add this cute cat washi tape to the bottom. This is the cute little cat to the post office washi tape. It's so adorable. <laughs> okay, so now the main washi work is done. <laughs> and I'm going to add my die cuts now. And I already, just to save some time, I already put some double-sided tape on the backs of these cardstock pieces. See that? I use a lot of tape. <laughs> so this is a journaling card from Project Life and it's one of the folding ones. That's why it's got the score line here because you're supposed to be able to fold it in half and you know put it in your pocket page you know. But I'm just gonna put it on my layout like this. Like, like that. And this is a little cardstock die cut from I think Jelly Bean Soup. And it's a little airmail label. I love anything with the airmail or snail mail theme. I just really love that kind of stuff. <laughs> Something like this, I think. I have these cute little pom pom purin stickers. They're absolutely adorable. I love those characters so much. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing their name right, but I love these little characters so much. And they're from this sticker pack here with the most adorable packaging ever. I got this off of Etsy. So cute. So we've got one with the little guys in a car. Put them right here. And then I have this little special delivery cardstock die cut. I don't remember where this is from. I can't remember if it's from Jelly Bean Soup too, or it might have been. It might have been. I'm not 100% sure. I'll put this right here. On a little angle, I think. And this one is a journaling card from Pink Paisley. They came out with a collection called Pen Pals. I love that collection because it had the whole airmail theme, you know? So this is a journaling card from them. And this little die cut is a little speech bubble, and this is from October Afternoon. This is a really old collection. I think it was called Hometown. It was a really old collection. Having this, I love this faint grid in the Hobonichis because it helps me line stuff up because None of this stuff would be straight if not for the grid paper. And this little die cut here, this cute little gift box, is from, I think, Pebbles. I believe it was from Pebbles. I'm just going to add a little bit of liquid glue on the bow parts. And these two little die cuts are also from that Pink Paisley Pen Pals collection I was telling you about. Now I'm just going to use my brown touch sign pen to write a little sort of little title here. And with these touch sign pens, you might want to try to write, a, you know, not too slowly, because if you write too slowly, the ink will start bleeding through the page. 
So you want to kind of just be, you know, a little quick about it. <laughs> but I do love using these pens. They just, I mean, if I, if I haven't written with these pens in a few days, when I go back to writing with them again, I just think I have come home. <laughs> I just, I love writing with them. They just make me happy. My hands are pretty shaky today, they usually are. Especially if I'm on camera, then my hands are extra shaky. So my letters are a little wobbly there. Okay, so let's start off with some things that I ordered from Happy Memory, right? I got a couple other rolls of washi tape. These ones here. This one here looks like, I think they call this one Wisteria. Looks like that. Ooh, nice, eh? So got this one here, which looks like oh, just a nice, peaceful looking scene. Ooh, nice, eh? Alright, so I got, also got a bunch of stickers from them. I got these cute little dog sticker flakes, and I should have got the other pack I have. I have the cat version as well. Uh, I showed that in another video. Maybe I'll just link to that video so you can see the other one if you want to see it. This is the dog version, and they have ones that are printed on white paper and then ones that are printed on craft paper. So that's pretty cool, eh? I'm just gonna write some titles on these journaling cards here with my uni style fit pen. Love this thing. Okay, so my lettering is quite wobbly, but, you know, we're just going with the flow here, you know? And next up are these cute stickers here. I don't know what the name of the set is, but the set has four sheets and it's featuring this cute little dog. Really cute. And this one here that says, Behind the clouds is the sun still shining. Aww. Follow your own star. Oh, sweet. There's this one. I love this one here. He's putting stars in the sky. How cute is that, eh? And he's saying, if you dream it, you can do it. <laughs> and this one that says, happiness is a warm puppy. They're just really cute, aren't they? There's this one here. It's a little shopping bags. <laughs> And there's this sticker set here. I'm not sure how to pronounce this name. I think it's Momoi. I'm not 100% sure on that, but this it features this little cute little girl. And this one has six sheets of stickers. So, so cute. Family photo. Really adorable. Even though I can't read the words on them, it doesn't matter. I just think they're so cute. And this one here. Okay, next up is this sticker set here called Choo Choo Sweet Deco Sticker. And there's four sheets of these adorable little cat stickers. This one here. Look at this little guy here. He's very romantic. <laughs> and then... This one here with a like the little guy in the bed. So cute. This one here. <laughs> There's the guy here. He's so cute. And then this one, check check them out. They're so adorable. <laughs> They're wearing little bear costumes. They're so cute. And I also got these. These are like little index tab stickers. You can stick them on your page and then fold them to make little uh, tabs. And I just thought there were certain ones that stood out to me that were really cute. Like this little Pinocchio right there. <laughs> and the little Toto. They're really sweet. And then little Puss in Boots. 
adorable. And so there's these cute little stickers here that I got from Happy Memory. I love these stickers so much, and I don't know what in the world took me so long to get these, because I've seen them before, and it just, I don't know why it took me so long to order them. But these are Sumiko Garashi stickers. I love these characters. I'm not sure if I said their name right, but I just love these stickers so much. They're just absolutely adorable. And there's a cute little cat. And I'm going to make something out of this packaging, too. They're really cute stickers, and they're really nice quality, too. I put them on this so you can see them, and then I just... <laughs> and then I just made them fall, fall over like this. Okay, there you go, so you can see the different designs. Oh, and the little snails from there, too. The little snail I used on the page there. This one just set as well, so you can see the designs there. Check out this little cat. Isn't he adorable? He reminds me of Humble so much. So, even though Humble doesn't... They don't look alike, but he just reminds me of Humble. So, here he is. He's scratching at the wall, or I guess he's scratching at your paper <laughs> when you put him in your notebook. He's so cute. They're absolutely adorable. Okay, so the next little grouping of things that I bought are from a store called Miniature Suite on Etsy. But they actually closed their Etsy store like a few days after I ordered, so uh, you know, no help to you there. Although, they're running a .com now, so they've moved their Etsy store over to a .com. I think it's miniaturesuitehk.com. Uh, I haven't ordered from their .com yet, so I don't know, I can't give you any kind of, you know, review on that. But um, ordering through their Etsy store was, you know, A-OK, -okay, no problems there. And I really like these because, well, they're designed for, well, they call them Polaroid Deco stickers so that you can decorate your photos with them, right? But I'm just going to use them for journaling, right? And what I like about them is that, well, the designs are cute, and also they're, the paper is a matte finish, so you can color, you can color easily on them with, you know, colored pencils or markers, you know, so that's what I'm going to do with these. We get six sheets in the set. You get three that have black and gray print. And then you get the same, you get three sheets of the same designs, but in this kind of a bright coral color. And this set here is similar to the other set. Um, they're designed to be used on photos, but I mean, you can use them on anything, right? The only thing is I thought that these were going to be matte finish like the other ones, but five out of the six sheets, there's six sheets in the pack, and five of them are printed on glossy uh, sticker paper. So, I mean, unless I get, you know, a pack of colored Sharpies or something, I'm not sure how I'm going to color these. But the designs are really cute, though. I guess I could just leave them black and white, too. So there's six sheets of those. They're really cute designs. There's a cute little dog there. <laughs> He's so adorable. And these little cats there. I don't know if you can see these little cats there. <laughs> very cute and strangely one out of the six sheets is printed on the matte finish paper so I don't know if they just had a different print run or something <laughs> maybe they ran out of matte finish paper I don't know but uh, this one is on matte finish paper so I can color that one easily and there's a cute little raccoon <laughs> so cute and a little fish adorable they are really cute stickers and there's a little cat there too Next up are these super adorable puffy stickers. Check out this little guy's nice big smile there. And then this little guy here. Totally cute. And another sheet of puffy stickers with these adorable cats. Of course, I could not resist these. I think this set of stickers was only a dollar something Canadian. I can't remember if it was a dollar sixty-five or something like that, but under two dollars, which I think is a really good deal for these cute stickers. They're really cute. And look at this little guy in his blanket. Ah. Super, super cute. And I love that one. Look at it. They're talking to each other. <laughs> They're just absolutely adorable. And then there's this sticker set here. There's actually two sheets, nice big sheets of stickers. And a lot of them are birthday themed. I love this little, I mean, I love the animals on there, of course. And this is funny little candle, too. I love this little candle. <laughs> He's so cute. Check out the little cat. So adorable, eh? I like how you have little spaces to write little messages in there if you like. Love this little guy there. He's got to go on this page. So he's got the whole... He's opening a box. So he's got to go on here somewhere. Okay, next up are some things that I ordered from a store called Sweet Supply Store on Etsy. And I've ordered from her many, many times in the past. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm you know, one of the people who's bought the most stuff from her. And I'm not saying that to brag, I'm saying that because I have a serious problem. <laughs> I have a serious problem with cute stuff, I just can't say no. Uh, so I got this roll of stickers from her. This cute little roll of dog stickers. And you get 200 stickers on this roll. 
And I think this was only five something Canadian, so good deal. And so here are the dog designs that you get. You get eight designs. They're so cute. <laughs> I love their expressions. Look at this little guy here. Ah, little Shiba Inu. Totally adorable. Okay, let's use a Shiba Inu on this page. So I got this little patch from her. This is a little embroidered patch. I'm not sure what I'm going to make with this little guy yet. I might make a little cushion for Humble. I'm not sure. <laughs> He's very cute. Little squirrel pushing his little cart with a mushroom on there. <laughs> totally adorable. And I got this sticker flake pack from her as well. Check out the little eye mask. It says meow. How sweet, eh? <laughs> it's totally cute. And there are the designs that you get. These were not very expensive at all, but they're totally cute. Oh, and these are the ones that are scented as well. Some of them, some sticker flakes are scented. You can't smell this, but it smells really nice. <laughs> Check out this little guy. Oh, a shooting star. <laughs> and I got this pack of Pom Pom Purine stickers from her. This is uh, the other one that I showed before, and I got this from her as well. This one has totally cute designs. I've just been taking a nap together. How oh, sweet, eh? So I'm going to be using this one on the page, but I wanted to show you the napping one. Them napping together. That is so sweet. And next up are these cute stickers. Planner stickers. Totally adorable. And check out this. I love this little guy here with the yarn. That can go in the corner of, you know, one of your weekly boxes or, your, you know, monthly calendar boxes, you know. Totally cute. And check out this cute little mouse. There's a little mouse wearing a little sweater. <laughs> How cute is this? And here's another cute little cat sticker sheet. There's a little guy driving a car. <laughs> I'm totally cute. And here's another cat sticker sheet. I really like the finish on these. It's sort of a matte satiny finish. It feels really nice. And they also have little gold foil accents on there. Very cute. <laughs> Check out this banner that says Joyful. It's so sweet, eh? Oh, guy's got a, a magic wand. <laughs> and his lion sweater. I can't forget the lion sweater. Totally cute. And next we have these sticker sheets here. And they have really tiny little stickers that would be good for, you know, the monthly calendar in my Hobonichi. Cute little animals. This one here has sort of fairy tale uh, characters. And I got them because of the animals. <laughs> little cat from Alice in Wonderland. And a little wolf from Red, Little Red Riding Hood. So sweet. And this sticker sheet here is totally adorable, of course. More cats. And check out this little guy here. He's me. Oh, he just melts my heart. And I actually got two sheets of these because I love them so much. And I used a bunch of them, as you can see. And then I was thinking, since we have a whole snail mail thing going on here, I'm going to use this little guy here. This little guy here. <laughs> and we got this dog sticker sheet here. They're very sweet. And they're printed on craft, too, which is quite nice. Check out this little guy here. But they look, <laughs> they're both in the same pose. How oh, sweet, eh? These ones here are pretty interesting. They're cat stickers and they're printed on washi paper. So that's neat. And they also have gold foil accents too. And here's a cute little airmail tin that I got from Happy Memory on Etsy. And you just slide the lid off. I thought that this would be nice for holding sticker flakes. Just slide the lid off like that. Got these sort of stationary themed sticker flakes. So I thought this would be a nice little home for them. Pencils and little notebooks. Very cute. There! And next up are some things that I got from a store. I'm not sure how to pronounce the name. I think it's Galuk. G-E-L-U-K. I got several things from her, like this adorable Cookie Monster pen. This is a uni style fit pen with a little baby Cookie Monster. And even the ink refills have a cute little print on them as well. There's a little Oscar and Elmo there. And then a little Elmo print. And I love this one here. Cookie Monster and Cookies. <laughs> so cute, eh? Just makes writing more fun, you know? I got these Sanrio folders from her as well. Uh, actually, this one came, this is a, I love this little guy. Um, he came with a larger folder, an A4 folder, and so did these two. So there's a set of two, and then these were a set of three. But the A4 folders are just 
larger than I really need, so I gave them to my niece, <laughs> who's a toddler, by the way. <laughs> so it's kind of hilarious that we're into the same things, right? But I just love these folders. I love this little guy especially because he's got the little die cut edge. <laughs> he's totally cute. I just love this little guy. And I also got this little sticker book from her with the Sumiko Garashi characters. I love these little characters so much. They're so sweet. And I think there's 16 sheets of stickers in here and two postcards. And there was one particular sheet that she showed in her item listing that made me click add to cart. Where is that one? This one here. Where they're dressed as little cats, including the cat. The little cat is dressed as a cat. <laughs> He's wearing a little cat costume, which I think is so adorable. And there's more. They're wearing the... He's looking at his little costume. So cute. There's a little Christmas theme there. there. And these ones are cut to look like little postage stamps. And look, you get the little index stickers. Little borders. And then a postcard, and another postcard. Really cute, eh? So I got some cute little freebies as a surprise. And this one is from Sweet Supply Store. She sent me this adorable die cut cat washi tape. Isn't that nice? I just think that's so generous. I forgot to mention that Happy Memory sent me a gift as well. Uh, they sent me a pen. The style of it didn't quite suit me. It had a little crown on the top, a little gold crown on the top. So I gave it to my mom. It was still a nice, nice gift though. And the seller, Galuk, I wish I knew how to say that name. Uh, she sent me some freebies as well. She sent me some little memo sheets. I don't have them here with me though. She sent me some little memo sheets and little stickers. And also this cute little pom-pom in. I think this is supposed to be a little card case. Really cute. And she sent me this Sumiko Gurashi bookmark. I love this. <laughs> this is totally cute. And this. Oh, I thought we'd open this together. A little surprise. And the packaging is so adorable as well. I want to keep the packaging too. So let's see here. I'll just cut the bottom, I think. hope I'm not cutting the surprise. Alright, what's in here? Well, there's a little picture here. Looks like a bookmark, but... I'm, ooh, smells nice! Oh, Smells nice. Oh, I think this is a piece of gum. <laughs> I think there's a piece of gum there. And... Oh, a little sticker sheet. A mini sticker sheet. And then this... Oh! Oh my gosh, this is so cute! Oh my god, look! <laughs> He's got his own little... His little hat on and his little coin purse. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. It's a little, I'm not sure if it's like supposed to be a mini card because it has these little lines to write something on. But I mean, I just think this is so cute. I guess maybe, you know what I could do? I can add a magnet to either side and make this a magnetic bookmark. Oh, wouldn't that be cute, eh? Okay, I totally gotta do that. I'm gonna add magnets to this. Well, there you have it. There's my journal with me video for today. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna put here just yet. I think I could just put the different shop names there, the Etsy seller names there. That makes sense, eh? Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed my video and thanks for watching. Okay, bye!